Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is John Jake Gaming on the mic here, coming at you with yet another Maximum Football update. Because, as you guys may know, a couple of weeks ago, we did have the open beta that was made available to us. So, that was the very first time that we as a community as a whole can really get a taste of what the newest maximum football what is that going to entail strictly from a gameplay perspective and it provided a lot of insightful things it gives us a good idea of where the game is at as of right now and while there was many positive things that i felt could have been taken away in terms of my experiences of playing with the game there was some things that this maximum football dev team they've received some feedback on and felt they still needed to put some additional work in before we have the full game released over in our direction so really excited to talk about what some of those improvements are and really what my thoughts are about it so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you enjoy hearing about maximum football updates as well as on other uh, miscellaneous football games that are out there on the market that might be released sometime this year then go ahead and hit that like button for me and hit that subscribe button as well if you happen to be brand new to the channel i do multiple football things over here so it's not just about those games specifically i have a lot to offer that i think you might enjoy here as well so let's go ahead and dive right into it so the first thing that they talked about was the pacing of the game now I personally thought the game pace was fine. I didn't have an issue with it necessarily, but they did update the game pacing to where it does speed up quite a little bit. And I'm hoping that this does also means that we don't necessarily get a replay after almost every play. That was the one gripe that I did have from a pacing standpoint. It was a little bit annoying at times to have a instant replay after almost every play i wish there was an option to where maybe you can toggle things to where you can only have replays occasionally not at all or if you really want to have replays almost every play you could have that option available to you but i'm hoping that the replay frequency is updated uh with that game pace i think that was truly help things out they did also speed up the players overall just to create a much smoother experience as well Another thing that they talked about was the graphics, the animation, and the audio. Now, for those of you that have worked on the, um, that have played Maximum Football 2019 or Maximum Football 2020 when it was released uh, during the height of the COVID pandemic, Maximum Football, the graphics between then and what we have right now significantly better it is significantly better from a graphics perspective an animation perspective and an audio perspective as well in my opinion it does truly feel a little bit more like a college football game that being said it certainly wasn't perfect either or at least that's how the devs feel so what we're going to see moving forward is in terms of that graphics that animation in audio while they did receive some positive feedback they are planning on going into their mocap studio where they plan on getting some extra animations in there to help add to the visual fidelity of the game and also working on as well as some other you know quality of lights you know small quality of details in terms of those types of animations there was nothing in there that i felt was absolutely game breaking that made the game unplayable but there is some work that still needs to be done speaking of work that needs to be done is the player controls as well now i'm played with a ps5 controller so for me i felt like the ps5 controller was fine but i know for my friends that are over on the xbox side of the house i believe there was like a situation where like the default controls for xbox where the sprint button and the spin move button were in not so very similar spots at all so it made it difficult to actually try to execute a spin move for example to, to while still actually sprinting up field right so they're working on updating that as well uh to try to update those controls so that we as the gamer have a better overall experience playing with the game and 
again you know while it's better than maximum football could use a little bit of work in the eyes of the dev team but the thing that i'm so happy that they are addressing the most is ai play calling ai play calling for me that was the one issue that i did have the most when i was playing the dev uh game uh back a couple of weeks ago there were certain moments where uh for the ai play calling that a team was down six to seven like they're down by a couple of points and instead of trying to go for like an onside kick they would just straight up kick the ball off back over our direction and this was with a minute and a half left to play where you would think it would make more sense to go for an onside kick so i'm hoping that onside kick situations are added into maximum football if possible of course and then of course um also see them really work on those late game situations as well where there were times where it was late in the game it would be making more sense to try to go in a more no huddle but instead they tried to run the ball right with, with like a couple of uh like minutes left to play and you got 70 80 yards down the field for example so love that they're working on the ai play calling i think there needs to be an update with the on onside kick as well as with those general late game situations as well just to see some better ai they are also planning on working on playbooks updating playbooks as well hopefully paving the path for us to have custom playbooks and you know create our own plays that kind of stuff and import that into our dynasties but for the time being they're working on updating playbooks so that more teams would feel different as we see more of these teams being built and develop so that there's multiple styles of offense out there one team is not going to feel exactly the same as another team i think that's really good and then finally they mentioned the user interface the user interface uh just trying to add to that quality of life one thing that i think they could certainly touch up on is the depth charts the depth charts looked a little wonky i wish they would update that and maybe look more physically appearing i guess is is the word i'm looking for but even though i have my critiques of the game i don't want to say that this is you know this is a bad game because it's not i genuinely enjoy my experience playing the beta test a couple of weeks ago when it was made open to the public and i'm really looking forward to seeing what other kind of updates that are going to be coming from maximum football here in the near future because listen they're actually listening to us they want to improve this gaming experience for all of us not just for a certain set of people so with that being said that outlines the improvements that the dev team wants to work on let me know how you feel about these updates down in the comment section do you like that they're work they're focusing on these types of things or do you think that they should be working on other things as well with that being said, this is John J. Gaming on the mic signing off. I'm really looking forward to when Maximum Football is ready to go. I'm definitely planning on getting this onto my PC as soon as possible. With that being said, though, this is John J. Gaming on the mic signing off. Hope you guys are all out there having a good one. And again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, as that does really help me out tremendously. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.